The Rangers will be hard at work all day, but do come and join in, even for just a short while. One thing, though, is to make sure you're wearing something that you don't mind getting dirty or torn. And finally, I'd like to tell you about our new wildlife area, Hinchingbrook Park, which will be opened to the public next month. This slide doesn't really indicate how big it is, but anyway, you can see the two gates into the park and the main paths. As you can see, there's a lake in the northwest of the park with a bird hide to the west of it at the end of a path. So it'll be a nice, quiet place for watching the birds on the lake. Fairly close to where refreshments are available, there's a dog walking area in the southern part of the park, leading off from the path. And if you just want to sit and relax, you can go to the flower garden. That's the circular area on the map, surrounded by paths. And finally, there's a wooded area in the western section of the park, between two paths. OK, that's enough from me, so let's get on and have a look. Okay, that was something about the collections, and now here's some more practical information, in case you need it. Most of the museum facilities are downstairs in the basement, so you go down the stairs here. When you reach the bottom of the stairs, you'll find yourself in a sitting area, with comfortable chairs and sofas, where you can have a rest before continuing your exploration of the museum. We have a very good restaurant which serves excellent food all day, in a relaxing atmosphere. To reach it, when you get to the bottom of the stairs, go straight ahead to the far side of the sitting area, then turn right into the corridor. You'll see the door of the restaurant facing you. If you just want a snack, or if you'd like to eat somewhere with facilities for children, we also have a cafe. When you reach the bottom of the stairs, you'll need to go straight ahead, turn right into the corridor, and the cafe is immediately on the right. And talking about children, there are baby changing facilities downstairs, cross the sitting area, continue straight ahead along the corridor on the left, and you and your baby will find the facilities on the left hand side. The cloak room, where you should leave coats, umbrellas, and any large bags, is on the left hand side of the sitting area. It's through the last door before you come to the corridor. There are toilets on every floor, but in the basement, they're the first rooms on the left when you get down there. Okay, now if you've got anything to leave in the cloakroom, please do that now and then we'll start our tour. Now, we've also put together a map which we've sent out to all the residents in the area. And on the map we've marked the proposed changes. Firstly, we'll plant mature pine trees to provide shelter and shade just to the right of the supermarket in Days Road. In order to address the traffic problems, the pavements on the corner of Carberry and Thomas Street will be widened. This will help to reduce the speed of vehicles entering Thomas Street. We think it's very important to separate the local residential streets from the main road, so the roadway at the entrance to Thomas Street from Days Road will be painted red. This should mark it more clearly and act as a signal for traffic to slow down. One way of making sure that the pedestrians are safe is to increase signage at the intersections. A keep clear sign will be erected at the junction of Evelyn Street and Hill Street to enable traffic to exit at all times. Something we're planning to do to help control the flow of traffic in the area is to install traffic lights halfway down Hill Street where it crosses Day's Road. Now, we haven't only thought about the cars and traffic, of course. There's also something for the children. We're going to get school children in the area to research a local story, the life of a local sports hero, perhaps. And an artist will incorporate that story into paintings on the wall of a building on the other side of Hill Street from the supermarket. And finally, we've agreed to build a new children's playground 
which will be at the other end of Hill Street, close to the intersection with Carberry Street. Wonderful. Now, what's the next stage? Well, the final plan. Will...